I was asked to do a tutorial on Hotel California finger picking. Uh, it's not the correct finger picking. I did it on a GCEA ukulele. Just done a little tutorial for them. I thought I might as well do the same tutorial for the baritone. Uh, it's a finger picking pattern I found out when I started learning from a book called Absolute Beginners Ukulele. Uh, which yeah quite a good book learned a few things basics and stuff and this is one of the finger patterns uh, doing it like Hotel California it fits in with their intro almost perfectly but uh, this is what it sounds like this is a bit lower because I'm using the same chord shapes it's on the tenor uke but this is what it sounds like <laughs> That's how it sounds. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if we can try and teach it. So, first things first. That, if you want to try and pause YouTube and jot that down, that is the order you're plucking the strings with your right hand. And we've got basically the D and the G strings are done by the thumb. Let's lower this down now. Yeah, so. How about that? The D and the G are done by the thumb. And the B is done by the first finger. And the E is done by the second finger. So it's going to start off with your second finger on one, which is on the E string. Thumb up to the D for two. First finger on the B string for three. Back down with the second finger on the E for four. And you repeat that for oop, five and six which is the top one and first finger okay, get it all in. and then thumb on the G and then first finger on the B again so we'll what can I do with that one We're not worrying about the, the chords at the moment. We're just learning the finger picking pattern because it's the same through all the chords when you do the chords. So let's try again. If you can see, right, and so. So that is the picking pattern. When you, you can play it slightly differently by how I did it in Hotel California, I strum the first one. So the strum is number one. So you miss out that one. And you start on number two. So you go strum, two,
the strings and making it sound funny. <laughs> With Hotel California, you can do because you do the you do this pattern twice for each chord, so you can strum the first strum and then not strum the second time. So you can go Uh, and it's not just good for Hotel California. Uh, we'll, um, yeah, what else have I done it in? Some of the videos I've done it in, I've done it in a few. Uh, probably most recently, Lewis Capaldi, Someone You Loved, which was a G. What is it? G. did it in was Eleanor Rigby uh, which starts off on a C you put a finger down as well there so that goes um, but yeah pick a song you like and if you practice that picking pattern and you get it down um, uh yeah you can do loads with it uh let's see another one i can do i can think of road tripping by the red hot chili peppers <laughs> Exactly the same picking pattern, just different chords. It makes it sound completely different. Anyway, if you're just learning, I hope that helps a little bit. I know it's low tech, but um, you know, most important thing is copy that little pattern down and then just practice it. When you're practicing, there you go, it's up again there. When you're practicing, you can just, you know, if you sat in front of the telly on your own, you don't even you can just mute the strings just put your fingers gently on them and it doesn't mean that you're making lots of noise to annoy people but then you can it makes hardly any noise but you can practice you know if you're getting it right and if you do it like that you don't annoy the missus so much unless she sat right next to you uh yeah give it a go have fun with it and uh, happy strumming. Bye-bye.